Um, here today at Erica we've actually got 11 tankers and they are made up of tankers from Western Australia. We've got two tankers, we've got one from South Australia, three from Tasmania um, and we've also got some CFA vehicles. There's a whole lot of differences in the vehicles and we've picked the vehicles for having different functional bits so we haven't tried to pick this is the best buy vehicle. So what we've tried to do, for an example, for the Western Australian tanker, it's got a clip-on, clip-off unit, so the whole fire unit can clip off. Um, they drive the truck out and then they drive the truck into another tray, so it's got the ability to also put on a, a tipper or a flat tray. Or one of the real interesting ones is that they've actually got a cherry picker with a water cannon that they put on that same truck, um, which then they can use in the tall timber country to, to put out some of the high stags. When we went around and spoke to DSC crews earlier this year, we ran a dozen workshops and one of the strong feedbacks we got from those workshops was crews are saying that in their country they need certain requirements. Uh, well, we're looking at the various types of terrain that are in different parts of Victoria. We've been to the southwest, um, into the low forests over near uh, Sananad. We've been into the Grampians where it's very rocky and steep and sandy sort of country. Last week we were at Talangata and climbing up there it's extremely steep and a bit of snow up there for us as well to try out. And this week we've got this narrow windy country here over Erica. We're testing the, the vehicle's uh, driving capability on road and off road and into some pretty difficult terrain. Um, we're also testing the types of equipment on them, the storage, um, even for things like visibility, for lighting, and um, emergency warning devices as well. Keen to get as much data on what sort of vehicles are suitable for different terrains and different requirements. We're collecting a whole lot of data, so during this trial, the crews are filling out survey forms and so they're currently doing four separate surveys over the four days of the trials that they're on and each survey is about five pages long and we're getting a lot of good data from that information. We're looking to try and develop um, specifications so we can build our own vehicle so we're just looking at every feature on them from the pumps to the paint colour to the types of flashing lights they have, the types of tyres and engine size every little detail so that when we design the specifications and start to build new vehicles for the DSE, we can put out the best vehicle we can.